Hello, my over 50s, Ted Greenfield, over 50 and learning to fly. And yes, I am coming to you from the inside of the world headquarters of over 50 and learning to fly because yes, my plane is going into annual and it is long overdue for a new interior, which is the next project which I want to share with you. But first I wanna share something with you guys. I know I've been away for a few weeks and I know that uh, I got a couple comments saying, hey, it's great to have you back. Well, I haven't gone anywhere. But the one thing I wanna share with you, and I think you guys already know this, is I never wanna make content just to make content, just to get views and grow the channel. I wanna make content that will inspire you to go flying, will, sh will share how much aviation costs and all the ups and downs of airplane ownership and all the costs of it. Um, and also, I wanna share content with you that will inspire you, that you will learn from it, and that will help you grow in aviation. So if I don't come out with a program in three or four weeks, don't fret, I am still with you. I haven't gone anywhere. I just want to produce good content and I never wanna produce content just for content. So today, let's take a look at what this new interior is actually gonna take. So the perfect time to get a new interior installed, well, for me anyway, is when it goes into annual because the plane will be down for a couple of weeks and if I have my act together, I can get everything done, hopefully, within that time or at least get a major portion of it. But doing an interior is a major job. So, so this is the first program on the seats and the seats actually came out really well if you have a look. So let's take a look at how I got there and I'll share all my little experiences with you just from redoing these seats. So let's take a look at the interior as it is now. And yeah, it's pretty old, probably from the 80s, and it's in need of a serious, serious upgrade. I waited a while because I wanted to upgrade the engine and the avionics first. And as you all know, I am in the pay as you go mode. So everything that I have done on this airplane is paid for, which in, in my advice, you want to keep it that way. So I'm going to get the, the costs of this later on in the program, but it really wasn't that bad. And I'm going to just tell you about the costs of the chairs. So the best part of this project is that it is something that you can do yourself. It really doesn't require any special skills except the willingness to figure it out. So where do we start? Well, first get your chairs out of the airplane and get them into a good workplace where you can make a mess and you can be comfortable. So I turned my little apartment into an upholstery shop for a week or so. The first thing you want to do is strip the entire thing down to bare wireframe. So I just cut it off and there was a lot of old glue and clips that I had to remove. So the old clips were a bit of a pain to get off and they all had to be muscled off, which was done once I had the frame. Um, but there was a lot of glue and gook on it. And when I got it down to all bare frame, it was just kind of dirty, just years of glue, the clips, the, it was just kind of all nasty. So I didn't have a pressure washer and I thought about buying one, but then I actually had a better idea. So I took the bare frames to a self car wash and sprayed them down with Goo Gone and let the Goo Gone soak there for a little while. And then I just hit them with the pressure washer and I blasted the frames and it worked beautifully for about $4. I was actually pretty proud of myself. So once I got the frames back, um, I gave them another blast of Goo Gone just to get them all cleaned up and all prepped for paint. And I put a fresh coat of paint that will match the new carpet and the new chairs. So once that was all done and dried, I really took apart the, um, uh, the main frame of the chair and I put all new rollers and washers in on the seat tracks, for the uh, seat tracks rather. And I cleaned everything up. I replaced a bunch of screws, cotter pins. I basically fixed anything that the seats needed and I tightened everything up because they were all a little shaky there. Um, but now it's all, I basically, I guess I, you could say I gave it an overhaul. Now, I got the new interior from Airtex, and when you get something from Airtex, everything comes in a few boxes, and it's very, very well organized with everything you need. They have instructions that you should download from their website, and it really couldn't be any easier. Everything you need is included. So this was actually a lot easier than I thought. So once you get the bare seat frames, you have to put the web backing on it, and they have all the glue, and all you need to do is follow the directions in the pictures. So I went to Home Depot, got some clamps and some other supplies, and putting on the web backing and cutting it out and applying it and making the web backing really went very, very smooth. 
So once the web backing is on and it's all dried, then all you do is bring out the foam and lay it over the backing and slightly glue, glue it in place. You don't want to make a lot of glue here because you're going to, it's going to be shifting and changing. And then the fun part of sliding on that new leather begins. This is a really, really tight fit. And you want to make sure you do this right because you don't want any lumps in your seats. So the back, once you kind of roll it up, it actually rolls right on. And then you have to do a little stuffing and fluffing and kind of, you know, muscle it around. But at the end of the process, it really came out nice. Um, that's the backs of the seats. The bottom of the seats just laid right over the frame. Now, there are some things I can do well and some things I can't do well. So I didn't really have a clipper tool to permanently match the, or permanently mount the, um, that, uh, the seat fabric onto the frame. So I took the whole thing over to an upholstery shop and these guys were amazing. Uh, it's Auto Trim Custom Upholstery in Tampa, 813-380-7357. And they clipped the bottom seats onto the frames for me for $100 for the pair. So this was well done because I would have had to buy a tool, figure it out, I would have made a mess of it. And you know, I, I just handed it over to these guys and literally I dropped it off in the morning and they came, called me at three o'clock and said it's done. But this little $100 was money well spent and they did an amazing job. So if you guys are in Tampa, um, give these guys a call. The last part of putting it all together was just assembling the seat and it really came together really easy. I replaced all the screws and I replaced all the nuts so everything's kind of nice and new. And it only took me about four days. A lot of that was paint drying and glue drying, but look at this, voila. It came out looking beautiful. So I know the big question is what did all this cost? Well. For the kit, for the seats, for all four seats was $1,452. Not really that bad. For the entire interior, it was $3,500, which again, that's not bad. You just have to put it in yourself. So this is the seats. Uh, the bench seat is gonna be done in exactly the same way. I just won't make a separate program on it. And then um, I will take you along the journey on the rest of it. I'm pulling out all the panels and putting in new insulation and putting in the panels. So stay tuned for the new interior with 2214 Yankee. I hope you liked it. Hope you learned something. And if you are over 50, you know what to do. Get up and get in the air.